I've covered the Middle East for a long time, I've covered terrorism for a long time, and I have to tell you, I'm worried that on the 10th anniversary, approaching the 10th anniversary of 9-11, Al-Qaeda, or what's left of Al-Qaeda, or their supporters, will try to do something to, to seek revenge mm -hmm. for your, your killing bin Laden. How worried should we be about that? How worried are you about that? Well, look, uh, we are vigilant and constantly monitoring potential risks uh, of terrorist attacks. And uh, I think that uh, the men and women in our intelligence uh, uh, agencies, as well as uh, the FBI, have done a, a terrific job in, in Department of Homeland Security. But uh, the risk is always there. Uh, and obviously, on a uh, seminal event like the 10th anniversary of 9-11, that makes us more concerned. It means we've got heightened awareness. Uh, the biggest concern we have right now uh, is not the launching of a major terrorist operation, although that risk is always there. Uh, the, the risk that we're especially concerned of right now is uh, the lone wolf terrorist, uh, somebody with a single weapon uh, being able to carry out uh, wide-scale massacres of the sort that we saw uh, in Norway recently. Uh, you know, when you've got one person who uh, is deranged or uh, driven by a, a hateful ideology, uh, they can do a lot of damage, and it's a lot harder to trace those lone wolf uh, operators. So uh, we're spending a lot of time monitoring uh, uh, and, and gathering information. Uh, uh, I think that uh, we generally have to stay vigilant. Uh, there may be a little extra vigilance during 9-11. Uh, on the other hand, keep in mind the extraordinary progress we've made over the last couple of years in degrading al-Qaeda's capabilities. They are a much weaker organization with much less capability uh, than they had just two or three years ago. So uh, what, what I hear you saying is we don't have to worry about a spectacular 9-11 yeah. kind of event, more like a lone wolf could do some damage, right. kill a lot of people, but not a, a nuclear or a radiological or well, anything like that? Look, uh, as President of the United States, I worry about all of it. Uh, but I think uh, the, the, the most likely scenario that we have to guard against right now uh, ends up being more of a lone wolf operation than a large, uh, well-coordinated terrorist attack. We still have to stay on top of it, though, uh, and uh, we're never letting our guard down. That's part of our job.